Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this simple circuit to provide a constant current, even when the input voltage varies. It is based on this little device, the TL431. It looks like a transistor, but it is actually a programmable Sinner diode. In a previous video, I talked about this device. The link is in the description. This is the basic connection of the TL431. Similar to a Sinner diode, you apply an input voltage and the device stabilizes the output voltage to a preset value. However, unlike the Sinner diode that can handle a single output voltage, this device can vary the output voltage depending on the voltage that you apply in this pin. And this voltage is controlled by this voltage divider formed by R1 and R2. And this characteristic of a varying output voltage will be used in our constant current source. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here we have the schematic for the constant current circuit. We need, besides the TL4 TL1, a resistor, power transistor, I am using a TIP41, and another resistor here. This must be a power resistor since all the current will go through it. We can see that the voltage to the base of the transistor is the voltage from our device. And in turn, it is controlled by the voltage that we apply here in this pin. More voltage here means less voltage here. Now, the voltage in this pin depends on the current through this resistor. Suppose we have an excess current, then we will have higher voltage here and then lower voltage here. Less voltage in the base of the transistor will mean less current through the circuit. To the contrary, if we have less current, then we will have less voltage here, more voltage here, and the transistor conducts more and the current will increase. So we have feedback on both sides and this makes the current at the output to be stable. The output current is given by this formula, V ref, which is 2.5 for this device, divided by this resistance, plus the current through the device, which is around 20 milliamps. Using a resistor of 3.3 ohms, we get a current of 777 milliamps. And this resistor here is cal calculated with this formula, the input voltage divided by the current that we used cal calculated, divided by the transistor's gain, for this transistor is around 30, plus this current, 20 milliamps, and this gives a value of 327 ohms. So we will use 330, which is the most close commercial value. Okay, here I have the circuit on breadboard, and I am using this incandescent lamp as a load to test the circuit. As you can see, here is the positive and negative of the power supply and our circuit is just connected in series with the load. So, let's test it. The power supply is set at 15 volts. I'm going to turn it on. And you can see that the current is practically what we calculated. I'm going to move the voltage. It is now at 16. 15 volts and we have 
same current let's put 17 volts the current only changes a few milliamps so it is stable let's put 20 volts you can see that the lamp doesn't change intensity because the current stays constant okay that's all for today a very simple circuit when you need a constant current i hope you liked the video thanks for your visit and see you in the next one